And therefore, what will keep people here and what will keep our best young people here? What will keep them here is a strong commitment to ensuring their own personal fortunes here, their own personal lives here, but also to ensure, to deepen their commitment to the, uh, uh, the Jewish state uh, in the Jewish land. And this requires uh, a directed and purposeful effort, and this was the nature of our effort yesterday. We went to Tel Chai, the place where Joseph Trumpeldor fell some 90 years ago, to secure the uh, upper Galilee. And we started a program for roughly 150 projects, uh, which are both from uh, antiquity, archaeological projects from biblical and post-biblical period, but also uh, the restoration of sites of modern Zionism. However, sites in the West Bank, like the Cave of the Patriarchs, were criticized by the left wing for being included in the National Heritage Plan. And the most important thing that has happened in the last decade has been the conscious effort of the uh, diaspora first and then Israel second, joining it pretty early on to try to reverse the forces of the loss of identity through uh, such programs as Masa and Taglit and the fostering of Jewish education, the study of Hebrew. These are conscious efforts to arrest the tide of uh, loss of identity. The threat to the Jewish identity and his efforts with the National Heritage Program was the first issue the Prime Minister spoke about to the Jewish Agency Board of Governors. Only second did he mention the threat of a nuclear Iran. We're at the point where the international community has to decide whether it is serious about stopping Iran. If it is serious about stopping Iran, then what it needs to do is not water down sanctions, moderate sanctions, sanctions that will only uh, enable people to put a V around the rubric box of sanctions, but effective, biting sanctions that curtail the import and export of oil into and out of Iran. This is what is required now. It may not do the job, but nothing else will.